Hi everyone, welcome back to Nails by Sora. I hope you are doing well. Um, today's video is going to be all about the Sanrio character, Kurupi. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I have no clue. All I know is that he's a very cute green frog. Green is my favorite color and I think he's adorable so I wanted to paint him. And I couldn't really settle on any specific one that I wanted to focus on so I decided to decided to do three different versions of him and the first one is a really blown up um, version of him where all you really see is his eyes uh, mouth and his p uh, pink cheeks and it's really simple really straightforward I used um, pistachio to paint his face very beautiful bright green and now I'm putting in the eyes and I'm using my little baby blender from Nails by Dev to do so just because I get a really clean application with it. Uh, really thin layers, I can do, uh, you know, build up the color slowly and not feel like I have to just load the brush up with the pigment and lay it on because when you do that, you run the risk of um, the paint not curing properly and the buckling and wrinkling in the lamp. And uh, it's just always, even though it takes a little bit longer, it's always better to go slowly and build up your layers little by little. I don't always take my own advice, but when I do, I find that the end product comes out a lot better. So now I'm taking the pink um, um, gel paint from Madame Glam and I'm laying in first the outline of the cheeks and then I'm using the baby blender to fill it, pull that color and fill it in. And um, then I'm going to use black to fill in the mouth and the eyeballs, and that's going to do it for this version of our Kurobi nails. A bigger scale, the world in So for this second nail, which is actually the third in the image, I'm going to go in with this beautiful blue. It's Besame from Madame Glam to uh, paint out the background. And I don't know why I polished all the nails in white to start because I am using different colors for the background. The only one that actually stayed white is the third nail, which is the middle one in the picture. And this one is of course coming out after Halloween, but I just thought it was so cute be coming out of the jack-o'-lantern with the witch's hat and everything and even though it's not Halloween anymore I did want to do that but we'll get to get to that later because this nail is just um, Kurobi as Kurobi a little bit more pulled out so that you see his entire face and his little um, his little feet and starting off the same way have the blue background instead of the green that is you know Kurobi's face and now after drawing, um, Kuropi is basically, the shape of his face is a rounded square. So I mapped out the square and then rounded the edges around the sides and the top and bottom. And uh, then I went and I used the baby blender as I usually do to map out the shape of the eyes and the position, pulling the color in from the edges and then curing before going on to uh, doing the cheeks and then outlining his eyes. Uh, Kurobi is one of the easiest um, or easier Sanrio characters. So I do want to do a series of Sanrio characters, but I figured I'd start out with one of the more uh, straightforward uh, designs. And uh, that way I can slowly work my way up in, you know, um, whatever complications may arise from not consecutive from um 
the upcoming characters for lack of a better word. So I finished with the outline, I put in his eyes. They're both round in this one in, uh, versus in the last one. One was round, one was a half moon. And um, then as with the other one, I finished it with a top coat, a uh, um, velvet matte top coat from Madame Glam. And now we're moving on to the third and final one, which as before starts out with a rounded square. And then I thought I recorded it, but I didn't um, doing the, the pumpkin. So same thing, it's a rounded square. It's not completely round, it's not completely square. It's got some, you know, raised portions, the sections of the pumpkin itself. Um, but I use Madame Glam's, all of these colors are Madame Glam, uh, this one Sunstalker. And uh, now I'm just, I put in the eyes and I'm mapping out where the hat is. Um, all the gel paints are Madame Glam as well. And I did start out initially with drawing um, the outline like this and I didn't like, I wasn't getting the position of it right so I ended up erasing it and redoing it, which um, I didn't show on camera. Um, but yeah, so I'm just, as with before, mapping out the basic shape. Um, if you've watched my other videos before, I'm not very good at breaking down shapes into smaller shapes. I generally just try to map it with my eyes and draw either draw the outline or I go in and I just, you know, paint straight in the shapes as I see it and then refine it as I go. So if you're looking for more of a tutorial on this is how you draw Kuropi or any of the other characters, at this point, unfortunately, I'm not able to provide that because I don't do it the same way every single time. Um, I don't have a method of attacking these paintings. I really just, you know, try to paint it as I see it in whichever way works for the individual design. So right now I'm drawing in the outline of the pumpkin and I'm going to draw in the eyes and the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern, doing the cheeks, which in this one was bright red instead of the baby pink from the others. And I'm just, you know, at this point finishing up the overall, um, you know, the finishing touches that really make it pop. The outlines, you know, adjusting any lines where it needs more color, a different shape. Um, I left the buckle on the hat till last because I needed to add in some additional colors. Um, you see the color changed right there. I started out with yellow and then I did a an orange overlay to deepen it a little bit. And now just finishing up the jack-o'-lantern. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you always know when there are new videos coming. I think the part that I had the most trouble with at this point was the shape of the mouth. So I didn't leave enough room at the bottom of the jack-o'-lantern and I was squeezing it in at that point. But now I'm putting in the buckle, uh, which is bright yellow, on Kuropi's little witch's hat. And then the, um, the clasp, which is in black, is going to outline the hat and the belt and the belt buckle. And then I decided to... I felt like I should have moved Kuropi down the nail a little bit. He's a little bit far up so that you have all this negative space behind. And it looks like he's just floating in midair. So I decided to put in a drop shadow, which I'm on the fence about. I'm not 100% happy with it, but um, I'm going to finish up Kuropi with his catch light in his eyes and the final bit of outlining. And then once I put in the drop shadow, I will matte top coat as with the others. And apparently I didn't actually show me putting in the drop shadow which I use the shadow gel from Nails by Deb. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll continue to come back for future videos. I have a lot planned going into the holiday season. Um, any comments, questions, please put them down in the comment section below and hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.
There's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer